Well, an interesting thing happens when you highly simplify or declutter your house or get rid of like 80% of the contents, you're confronted with every single thing that you've bought over the years. And it is amazing how you look back at these items and think, what was I thinking? Why did I buy this? Why did I think that I needed it? What did I think was so great about it in the first place? And oh, what I would give to just have my money back instead of that item. from The Minimal Mom and about five years ago, my husband Tom and I decided to clear out about 80% of the possessions in our house. We got rid of all the stuff that we weren't using and that just didn't matter. And so we call ourselves minimalists now. Basically, we live a highly simplified life and we've, I don't know, we found that we think it's pretty awesome. <laughs> and so if that's something that intrigues you or you're at all interested in, we'd love it if you'd subscribe so that we can keep in touch and share more ideas with each other. But today I wanna to talk about why we buy things we don't need because as we were going through that process of clearing out our house like i said you're confronted with every single thing that you've bought that you don't actually need and so i think for most of us especially if you're even watching this channel you would like to conquer this consumerism a materialism habit so that you can have a clutter-free house but also probably have a little more peace of mind and a little more money in your bank account at the end of the month and so first it's really important for us to understand how marketing works so that then we can overcome these temptations so my background is actually in marketing it's what my undergrad is in my dream job would have been to work for a big ad agency and to come up with the really clever campaigns to sell you things and so that was my dream job now I'm trying to use the things I learned for good by promoting minimalism and trying to tell you not to fall victim to all these marketing tactics and so when you're learning marketing they teach you a very predictable formula what is it present a need meet the need offer the product at a very attractive price. So these marketing firms and these big companies are spending hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars on MRIs and brain scans and uh, product testing and focus groups and surveys to figure out what they need to do to separate you from your money so that you buy this product. And so a lot of times we're really hard on ourselves because we feel really guilty when we've bought something that we don't need. And we've all done it, we've all been there, and we just beat ourselves up. Oh, why did I do that again? Oh, we get our credit card bill. Why did I buy these things? I don't remember the things I bought. How did the balance get so high? And what we need to remember is we have to go easy on ourselves because these companies are working so hard to get us to buy these things and most of the time we have no idea that this is what's happening and how hard they're working <laughs> to get us to buy these things and the other thing is that they know how to appeal to our emotions i think most of us know that the key to any really good marketing campaign is to really pull on our emotional strings and through all their research they know what things are our pain points i mean if i'm a woman uh, most likely there are things i would like to do to be more attractive whether it's the products I put in my hair, the makeup on my face, or the clothes I wear. I mean, pretty much they know how to appeal to me to say, oh, if you buy this, not only is your hair gonna look better, but you're more likely to be in a relationship or people are gonna like you better. It's not even just about having nicer hair. They take it a whole step further. And so again, why this is important is because if we can recognize it, if when we're scrolling on Instagram or on Facebook, we see these ads and we can stop ourselves and be like, you know what, I've bought these products before and I thought that shampoo was gonna make a really big difference in my life and it might have improved my hair a little bit, but at the end of the day, I'd rather just have the $20 back. And so if we can recognize it and say, yeah, you know, that is a really cute shirt. I might even enjoy wearing it. I have a lot of clothes in my closet right now that I don't wear. Or maybe once I clean out my closet and really get a good grip on you know what i have in there and then i might enjoy actually going to a store to try on tops because you know what when i've ordered stuff online in the past it's been pretty hit or miss whether it fits or not and so if we can just become aware of it we see the ad we stop ourselves, we stop the brain connection of thinking about the dopamine rush we're going to get from buying it and we stop and say you know what it might feel good for a minute, but afterwards I'm gonna feel guilty for buying it and I'm gonna have regret over it. So let's short circuit the process here and just not buy it. So I think one of the key things to be able to stop buying things that we don't need, this impulse buying, is to have this recognition of how marketing works and what they're trying to get me to feel about their product. 
And so the second thing, if that initial reasoning doesn't work in your mind is to say, okay, I'm just gonna put it on a wait list. So it might be a 30 day wait list. It could even be as short as a 24 hour wait list. But it's amazing how if we can get removed from the situation, whether it's something we see in a store or see online, if we can say, okay, I'm just gonna write it down on a list. And then if after 24 hours, seven days, 30 days, if I feel like that's still something that would benefit me, that would be a wise investment, that it's worth giving my hard earned money for, then I'll go ahead and buy it. And we've done this in the past and it is incredible. Honestly, honestly, there are times where I would look back at the list of the things I wrote down on it and I would almost laugh at myself. Seriously, like you wrote this on the list. You really thought that shampoo was gonna make all the difference <laughs> or different clothes or I'd get home from the store, I'd write a shirt down that I saw and I'd, and I'd go to my closet and I would find things that I'd forgotten that I even had. And you know, and I would remind myself, I'd look at my closet and I'd be like, you know, Don, until you can get your closet under control and you can store your clothes nicely and you can go through and get rid of the stuff that you're not wearing, why should you be allowed to bring anything else into this house? And so it was really sobering and extremely helpful. And so you can take a picture of the item, whatever you need to do so that you feel like, okay, I have it documented. If I wanna come back and buy it, I will, but I'm just gonna give myself a little time to think about it before I make this decision. And I think a lot of times, you know, especially I'm very frugal. I don't wanna miss up on a good deal or a good opportunity. I would oftentimes be like, oh, but if I don't buy this right now, then the deal's gonna be gone and I won't have this opportunity. And what I'm learning as I experience life more is that there are very few things in life that are an actual emergency. And so when I really stop to think about it, there are very few times like, oh, if I miss the sale on those clothes or that shirt or those kids clothes, or if I drive by that garage sale and I don't stop, I could be missing out on something really good. I'm just reminding myself, you know what? There are so few emergencies. Okay, I might miss a really good deal on a top, but but I can go to any number of stores and find another good deal on a similar thing. And especially now that we do have our house simplified, the peace that is in our house by having it decluttered and rid of all these things that I've bought that I didn't need is so much better than any item that I could buy. And so I definitely think it's worth to keep on this journey of simplifying your home, being confronted with the things we've bought because when we have to deal with these things we've bought in the past, it also helps to solidify, nope, I'm not gonna give in to marketing. Nope, I am gonna put it on a wait list and I'm gonna see if I really do need that item because I don't wanna be in the same situation again where I'm having to spend Saturday afternoons sorting through stuff that I don't need and feeling regretful over those purchases. So it is worthwhile and I hope you're finding that too as you're simplifying that it is helping to change your attitude around your buying habits. But also, don't be too hard on yourself. Like I said, these people are spending millions of dollars to figure out ways to get you to buy their product. So yes, if we give in sometimes or we make a mistake, it happens to all of us and let's not be too hard on ourselves and let's not also keep the items just because we spent money on it. But let's say, you know what? It was a mistake. I learned from this process. I'm not gonna make the same mistake again and I'm just gonna keep moving forward. So I hope that helps a little bit. Like I said, we love sharing tips and tricks for simplifying your house. So if that's something that you're interested in, we'd love for you to subscribe so that we can spend time together. We actually had a really bad storm come through last night and lost some big trees in our yard, which I didn't even think this would make me emotional. It's almost making me wanna cry thinking about it. So coming up on Saturday, on our Saturday vlogs, Tom and I um, will assess the storm damage, show you some things that happened around our yard because it was it was really sad, actually. And so, so that'll be coming up on Saturday. So we'd love it if you'd subscribe so you're notified when new videos are released. But a thumbs up is the best compliment that you can give us. I hope this helps a little bit and I'll look forward to visiting with you again soon.